Hey there guys, what is going on? Today I'm bringing you a mod tutorial and installation as you just saw right there I had the website to this mod open and yeah that's it, I'm going to show you this mod today. Alright, I'm not going to go into a ton of detail what the mod does, I mean I am, but I'm not. I'm not going to spend more than 10 minutes on it, if that. So let's get right into it. This mod is called the Torched Mod and it's cool. So before I even explain it, I'm going to let it kind of explain itself here. I kind of have a little two and a half second show set up on what it does. So let's set it to nighttime. And I'm going to set my brightness very low. So as you can see now, it's dark. It's very dark. The wolves are out. We're going to hit the switch. It's going to activate redstone, which is going to launch rockets into the air, which is kind of nice. So we have that. And then we have this. I don't know if this is going to work. I haven't tested it. But if it does work, it should look really, really nice. So let's give this a look. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's fine. Oh. Oh, that's just nice. Oh, it's laggy, but that is just nice. Not so dark anymore, is it? No, it's not. Not at all. Let's put on some creative and take a look. So as you can see, we have lit up this entire section of the mountain. We have lit it up. There's no darkness here. So what did we do? How did I just do that? Well, with this mod. This mod's sick. You get a piece of gunpowder, which obviously are hard to come by. You get a piece of gunpowder and you put it on a torch. Oh. Get a piece of gunpowder and put it on a torch. Just like that. Then you get some more torches and you just hit it with it. Like that. As you can see, it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And then it can get really big because you can put all your torches into it. You can just drop them like that. Well, I didn't actually do it. Let me just do that for real really quick. So you can just go like that. And boom, it gets big. It can, it can get big. I mean, it can get this high, like that high. It gets real big. And then you put some gunpowder on it. I'm not entirely sure what it does. I think it gives it its blast radius. The more gunpowder, the bigger it explodes. And then you find yourself somewhere, a handy dandy switch, you grab the switch, or redstone uh, torch, hit that switch, that one blew up really low because it had really no gunpowder. So you gotta get gunpowder, gotta gotta gotta, if you don't have gunpowder, it's not gonna work. I mean it will, but it'll do that. And then you have the torch gun. So, ooh that's nice. I'm gonna die now. Oh, I saved myself. Um, but yeah, so you have, well, yeah, you have all that. So now it's all lit up and nice. So let's say we get into the dark zone. You can get this gun and go like that. Or you can go like this. That is just nice. Yeah, good rendering we got there. Yeah, so that's that. And let's just say you just want to light up one individual thing. Let's say we want to light up this cow. You just shoot it. Let's see how good my shot is. Boom, it's dead. Well, close. There we go. Or you can take a rocket to it. Yeah, that'll do it. That'll kill them cows. Sorry for all you vegan out the out there. Ooh, pork. But yeah. I think you get what the mod does. You can do that too. So that's an easy way to light up a hill. And to do that you need uh oh nice execution. You need these things. And I was in creative so I wasn't wasting them but now they're going away. I can do this for hours. Look at that. And you can go like that. Which is kind of a joke. Ow. Yeah, you can play that arrow game. Shoot one up and hope you don't die. Except it's not as dangerous because it won't kill you. Nothing. I survived. So yeah, guys. That is the mod. Oopsies. In a nutshell. That's really all it does, but it's enough to keep me entertained for a good long time. Look at it! Look at it! Look at it! 
Okay, well, I'm not gonna waste any more of your guys' time sitting here doing this. Actually, yes I am. I'm gonna build a big rocket. I'm gonna launch it. This might take a minute, guys. Oops, that was dumb. So, sit tight. Here we go. First off, get one of these. That's not right. Okay. Get one of these. And replace that down. God, there's torches everywhere. I don't know where to put it. It's like nowhere that there isn't torches. Alright, so put that down. Oh my sweet Jesus. One more time. Put it down. And we're gonna get some torches. Torch, torch, torch. We're gonna get a full full inventory slot here. And we're gonna feed those suckers on in. This thing's about to get big fast. And we're gonna load it up with gunpowder. So the blast radius is enormous. So it's full. Yeah, like I said, it gets big. Yeah, okay. Now we're gonna get some gunpowder. Gunpowder. And a lot of it. And we're gonna throw that on in. I don't know how much it accepts gunpowder wise. Probably not as much as the torches, but still probably takes enough. Oh, it might take the exact same amount. Yeah, it does. I don't think it'll accept these two. It'll spit them right back at me, won't it? No? There's more? Okay, that's plenty. That should do the trick. Let's make it nighttime. Let's get ourselves a lever switch thingy. Slap that down. And watch the rain. It might get loud. I'm sorry. Here we go. It's going to explode. It's not gonna explode. Oh no. Oh no. What? What? Oh, there it is. Oh man, here it comes. Is that it? Oh, never mind. Oh my. Oh my. It's raining torches all over the world. All over. Look at how much that covered. Not like you're ever going to legitimately get that many torches, but if you do, yeah, no mobs here. It's still, still raining. Wow. Yeah, so that's, wow, it's still coming down. That was gnarly. Look at that. Who knew? Jeez Louise. Wow. Okay, well, that's enough to keep the mobs away. A torch a day keeps the mobs away. Wow, we... Alright, guys. Well, that is the mod in a nutshell. I think you could have fun with that, even if you don't use it legitimately. You could put off some good firework displays. As you can see, I did that, you know, wirelessly. You could set up a little show, record that, and post that. You never know. I might do that. That sounds fun, but that would take a while. But, wow. That's a lot of light. Alright, guys. Well, I will see you in the tutorial. Peace out. Alright, hey guys, let's get into this installation. So there's actually four mods you, three mods, you need for this one. There is the Torch mod itself, there is his utility mod for the Torch mod. I don't know why, but you need that too. There's um, my custom Forge Universal Mac file I made for you guys. And then too many items, which is optional, but I always install it in the videos because, you know, why not have it? It's a popular mod, might as well have it with everything. Okay, so... Let's get into this. Okay, so for the torch mod, you're going to want to go to the torch mod link in the description and right here for Minecraft 1.5.0 and later hit 1.0.1. Take you to an ad fly link. Wait your five seconds because you're a good person. 210, skip ad. And now you're here. Wait five more seconds. I just wasted 10 seconds of your life and plan on wasting 30 seconds more. Preparing download and then wait, download now, and wait, hit it again, wait, there it is. Okay, took a minute, the server's a little slow, but that's fine. Okay, so now you can exit out of the torch mod, whoa, and the uh, iChun utility, you need to download now, version 1.0.1, .1. hit download, another ad fly link, wait your five seconds, three, two, one, skip ad, Another five seconds here. While this is loading, you can exit out of the iChun utility webpage and hit download now here. Wait a minute because the server's kind of slow. 
And now you're at the My Custom Universal Forge folder. Hit download there. Can't miss that button. That'll download. You don't have to wait five seconds. Congratulations. And now you have to wait uh, five more seconds. Too many items. Once again, this is optional, but you're going to click download from Micro 4.5. And that's a lie. Wait five seconds. And hit skip add. And you're done now. You can exit out of the internet. And now you should have those four files. I'm going to manually go to them. I'm going to go to here and then I'm going to go to download. So I'm going to get them all and I'm going to drop them in here. That's what most of you should do. You may have it here too. That's usually how most Macs come now with it right there. Now you're going to have them all right here. You're going to want to open each one. So just double click each one. Now you should have blue folders and zip files. Separate them. Just like that. Get the zip files and drop them into your trash. And now you have these blue folders. Alright. I'm going to get these a little organized. This here, this here, this here, and this here. Because they all have different installations. These two have the same. These two have the same. So I'm going to keep those a little separate. Alright, now you're going to want to click go up here. If, it doesn't, if you don't have that option, click anywhere on your desktop like this. And then click go. And then click go to folder. And then type that in. And then I, I, in my last video, I put what this is actually called, but I don't remember. So the squiggly button in the top left-hand corner under the escape button, backslash library. Put that in, then hit go. Then go into application support. Then go into Minecraft. And then go into your bin. Then you should see Minecraft.jar. Right-click on it, click get info. And then um, name an extension. Hit that down arrow. And right here, Minecraft.jar, put .zip or .zip. Then you can exit out of that. This should pop up. Click use .zip. Now you should have a Minecraft.jar .zip file in your bin folder. Double click that. That should unzip itself. And you can you, the Minecraft.jar .zip put on your desktop. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into the Minecraft.jar and you're going to want to put that to the side. Then you're going to want to go into the Modding Tutorials Forge Universal custom file that you guys just downloaded, that I made. And you're going to want to copy all the, or highlight and copy all these files. So hit Command A on your keyboard, then hit Command C or right click and click Copy All. And then go in here and hit Command V to paste them. And then check the Apply to All box and hit Replace. Wait till that's done, and then exit out of Modern Tutorials Forge Universal 1.5.2, or 1. Yeah, 5.2 folder. Then open up, while we're here, the Too Many Items folder, if you want that. If you don't want it, don't install it, doesn't matter. Do the same thing. Highlight them all, copy them all, paste them all, hit replace. Check a box if there is one, but there shouldn't be. Now you can go back two times. One, two, until you're back in the Minecraft folder with the bin folder and all that. And you're going to want to right-click, make a new folder, and name it Mods. Just like that. No capitals, no spaces. Otherwise, it won't work. Don't come crying to me if it doesn't. Okay, now you're going to want to go into the Mods folder. And you're going to want to get... Hold on, let me just make sure I'm doing this right. Yeah, I got this down. You're going to want to get the Torched Mod and the iChun Utility, the blue folders, and just drop them in there. That's all you do. Pretty easy. And then you can exit out. And you're done. That's it. Let's go test it out. Log on in. I'm going to empty my recycle bin. Hold on, that gets kind of loud. I don't know why, but it is loud. Alright, we're done there. I'll open up Minecraft. We should be done. Should be, should be, should be. Yeah, you should have that there. Six mods installed. You should have them all right there. Single player. Or we'll call this world Light. And we'll make a new world. Put that in full screen for you guys. And we're here. And you know it worked because, hold on, when you open too many items or creative mode, you should have your launcher and all these torches. Those are the only five items that are in the mod, but you know, let's shoot some rockets. Pew. Yeah, fun stuff. Yeah, I gotta do a little more shooting before I leave. But as you guys can see, the mod did install as it should have, and it works. So now you too 
can slaughter pigs with your torch rockets. That is mad. That is just destructive. But yeah, you can light up your world like nobody else. Look at that. Look at that. Gnarly. Alright, well I suggest you guys get this mod. This is probably one of my more favorite mods. It's simple, yet it's awesome. Alright. Well, I thank you guys for watching. And yeah, like the video if it helped. And I hope it did help. So, alright. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.